So I saw the movie trailer to this film many times in 2014, and I thought this film was never ever going to get released, but thankfully it got released this weekend. The movie is called Spare Parts, and it tells the true story of four Hispanic high school students living in Arizona who all seem down on their luck, they're at the end of their ropes, a lot of things are not working out, and we actually get to meet them through one of the kids who is actually turning 18. He wants to join the army, but he is an illegal immigrant. So he's having issues with that, with his school, with his life, and he meets a teacher, an actual sub, who also is an engineer, played by George Lopez, and they get this group together to build a underwater robotic machine for this major competition that happens every year in California. They're all, you know, nerdy kind of guys who either they have issues at home with their family or some of them have issues at school with bullies and stuff like that. So they come together to build this robot, to build this team, and to compete in this major contest that's coming up. Now, again, I, I really uh, I dig, you know, these inspirational stories where these, you know, the underdogs have to get together. You know, it's movies like Cool Runnings where they, they have to get together. They're, they're out of their element but they get together and hopefully they achieve amazing things. And this is based on a true story, so I don't know what really happens in the true story, even though if you stay for the credits, you get to see all that. But I'm not going to get into that. I don't want to spoil it for anybody because I didn't know what happened in, in the real life. But, you know, I, I like these movies. You know, they're going to twist it around to make it entertaining, make it fun and insightful and exciting. So I don't know what's true and what's not. But again, I just want to be entertained, and I want to be inspired, and I want to feel good. I was hoping that this would be a feel-good movie. Now, I said that George Lopez stars in this movie, and we also get to uh, see uh, other cast members in the film who are played by Alexis Vega, Issa Morales. Really love that actor, and it's great to see him in movies. Uh, we don't get to see him much in film, and it's just great to see him. I don't, I'd probably do more television. Uh, Marissa Tomei and Jamie Lee Curtis also play parts in the film, whether they play teachers or parents or the principal. Actually, Jamie Lee Curtis plays the principal. She's quite funny in the movie. Now, I will say there are some issues that I have with this film. There is some unnecessary product placement. I really feel that McDonald's and Coca-Cola probably put some money into this film because we have two moments in the movie with McDonald's that I felt like, okay, yeah, this is just this is major product placement and it was really annoying. There's some scenes with the Coke, not, you know, this kind of Coke, but, you know, the Coke, the drink, that uh, we're okay, you know, just Coke, they're drinking Coke, whatever. But there's some scenes with McDonald's and, you know, I, I've eaten McDonald's, I don't have a problem with McDonald's, it's just I don't like when it's kind of shoved in your face and they actually kind of talk about it just a little bit, like, I'm eating a hamburger, yum. You know, it's just like, whatever, please. And there's a love story, whether the love story is true or not. I know they have to kind of fit that in there. Now, it could be true. It could be all true. But it felt a little forced and a little phony that happens between the kid who wants to join the military and Alexis Vega, who's really nice in the movie. It's just great to see her become a woman on screen. Uh, we, you know, she's a spy kid. I have all three spy kids in my collection. It's just great to see her become a woman and a really great actress. Uh, I, I, I like the... the the, the, all the stories, we actually really get to know all four kids, uh, not equally, but we get to know them and their struggles, what's going on, because there was four kids who, uh, you know, would build this robot and, and get into this competition. I don't want to say where the film goes from there with the, with the reveal of the competition. Of course, you can go online and you can find out what happened to the real kids, but I didn't know and I was glad that I didn't know because it, it made it more of an ex exciting, special experience. You know, I really, I really did enjoy this film. Yeah, it's not going to take away any awards anytime soon, but it was just a nice film. It's PG-13. I, I feel probably for some thematic elements with family and you know dealing with the troubles of life and 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 and, that, and whatever goes with that. But this is a film that uh, I think the whole family can enjoy and be inspired from. Uh, it just, it's a really nice movie that I really enjoyed and. And, and brought up some interesting issues about life and, their, and the situation uh, that was going on with them and, and their whole journey of uh, getting to from where they were to where they go in this film. Again, it's just a nice movie. And, and you know, in the end, those things that, are, that I talked about that kind of bother me that, you know, that are kind of cliched and, you know, movie tropes 
that comes from this kind of weird genre, uh, you know, they're there. They're there, and they'll probably bother some people. But because the movie was so well made and so well acted, this actually comes from a director named Sean McDamary, who I saw a film a few years ago called Soul Surfer, which was also a true story about this young surfer that gets her arm chopped off by a shark. And I really thought that was very ins inspirational. And, and, I, and I think this, this, this is pretty inspirational as well. It's a really good true story. And, you know, it's they, uh, you know, around the credits of the scene, you actually see what really happened to the real people. And it's just really nice to see that and go, wow, you know, so that happened and so that happened. And, you know, just, again, it's a feel-good movie and it made me feel good. And made me kind of forget all the problems that I have. Because they're there. The problems are there, but they are very forgettable when it comes down to how much really enjoyable and nice this act, this movie actually was. The acting is good all around, especially from the four kids who I, I don't never seen them act before. They were good, and, and all the other people, George Lopez and Marissa Tomei and Jamie Lee Curtis and Lexus Vega and Issa Morales, they all do uh, good jobs to adequate jobs and fulfill what they need to do for the plot and you know made it very interesting and and I actually cared about them I actually cared about everybody and where this uh, movie actually went so it was a nice surprise and I would recommend it and for that I'm gonna give spare parts I'm gonna give it three stars out of four I'm Movie Man Chat please like comment subscribe to my channel I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook and please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. Also go to Long Beach Acting and Film Association right here on Facebook and Twitter. Please also go to MoviePile.com and if you enjoyed this video movie review, please click right here, subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. If you've seen Spare Parts or if you know about the true story, put uh, what you feel about it. Uh, did you like it? Did you not? Uh, and put your feelings down in the comment box below. I'd really appreciate it. In the meantime, have a great day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful life. And I'll talk to you in my next movie review. Peace be with you, my friends.